Perhaps you're using ChatGPT already, but maybe you're using it wrongly and that may be holding your business back. So I'm going to share with you seven prompts, business power prompts that can help you to go from regular use of ChatGPT to unbeatable business applications. And this video is perfect for entrepreneurs and small business owners, and it can really save hours of time on a weekly basis. So the first thing we want to do is set it up right. Using ChatGPT like a year ago was doing a new prompt sequence every time and giving it, feeding it information and resetting it for the next chat again. But today we can do customization and there's several customization options available. And one of the main things, like the main chat we have accessible, we can customize that as well. And that's going to be very powerful. So once you are on a chat GPT for a desktop app, you can click settings, click on your name, pick settings, and you will have this window appearing. And here you will have customized chat GPT. So once you click on that, it will allow you to create this custom instructions the way you want ChatGPT to reply to you. And here is interesting. You have two windows that you can customize. And one of them, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better response? And here it is good to give it some personal information, what you're working with, your experience, perhaps even your interests from beside your work. When you add all of that in here, it will help ChatGPT the way it's going to be responding back to you. So add it to this window. And I added something about personally about my own work experience, uh, what I'm doing in addition to my work, and what I prioritize as efficiency and productivity in my work. Save this, and then you can go to the next window. And here you can be a bit specific on the way ChatGPT responds back to you. And here I added some something like tone, writing style, and humor. You can also give it a specific structure of the answers that it should follow. I'm not going too detailed on this one here because I see this one is a general chat. You would also like to have a little flexibility the way it answers back to you, where very custom uh, being on the response, if you want a table contents or following specific templates, that is a good place to do it with custom GPTs instead. But here it's possible to add this save again and remember to enable it on top here and give it access to browsing so it can go online to check for some uh, research online, DALI to create images and code in order for it to analyze documents. So very powerful. So all of that enabled, and now you have a much more customized G GPT for O that is going to be answering to you. And we can use ChatGPT for ideation, new content ideas, to creating social media blog posts, creating templates, and using those templates again whenever we need for a specific workflow. That's possible. And here we can see prompt number one. I'm going to share all the prompts and the custom instructions that I use in Notion page. So you can also come in here and copy the prompts and use them yourself. It's going to be available in the description below. All right, so the first prompt is new content ideation. And here it is really possible to do some good brainstorming depending on what niche you're working in. You can use those prompts in a way that you just change the content of the brackets here to whatever is suitable for you. All right, so the prompt is filled out and you can copy it, paste it to ChatGPT, press enter. And the way it shows the result is by creating this fine table where it's going to show both idea topics, brief descriptions, and also three possible titles. And this is already giving some inspiration of what could be the new blog post future-proof your SEO strategy trends, SEO in 2024, what's next for search engine optimization from AI to voice search, the future of SEO unveiled. So like this, we can have plenty, plenty of ideas within seconds of what could be the next content that could be created. And what's cool about when you get delivered a content table like this, you can pick on an idea in whether it's uh, SEO for e-commerce sites or something else, you can pick it and you can prompt further with ChatGPT and ask it for elaborating 
on the outline for this as well. But let's dive into the next prompt. So prompt number two, tone and style for your content. Because once we are creating content, you would also like to have your brand or your personal voice to be applied to the content that you are creating. And that is possible with using a prompt like this. And we are filling out the prompt like we did before from the brackets. And interesting thing for the tone and style, it also helps to create it directed for a specific audience. So if you know the demographics of your audience, you can add it here. All right, so we're adding those details that are missing. So you would like to have a consistent tone and style of your content when you're creating it to have a consistency. That's a strong brand identity over time. We can replicate that by giving it a structure, by showing ChatGPT within this prompt, how are we actually structuring our content? So I'll give it the structure of the post here and again, copy, add to ChatGPT. And what we get out of this is all those different ways that it understands the tone and style that can be fed back to ChatGPT whenever it needs to create the content or perhaps give a specific role or the way it should respond, like we did in the customization in the beginning of this video as well, or when you make a custom ChatGPT. So now we make a formality, casualness, emotions conveyed, types of words used, so it collects all of that and then it will help to create content that is very similar in the tone and writing um, language that was used before in the content that we gave it. So that's very powerful. So power prompt number three is the content outline. So this can be really used to create this 90% of the entire blog post and that can be done in minutes and you would have saved hours of work or at least i know it from myself i'm a terrible writer so this is very helpful to save a lot of time on a daily basis so rich content outline power prompt number three and here of course we have again some of the brackets that we need to fill out and here in additional notes we can insert topic how social media influences your seo best practice prompt is ready again copy paste and enter and here we go. And it creates a full outline with introduction, key points, main ideas, subtopics, questions, examples, best practices of using social media to boost your SEO, and so on. And it creates this powerful outline and you can edit it to fit it the exact needs that you have. But creating such an outline for myself would have taken hours. So now we can copy this outline. You can add it into the document of your choice, modify it the way you want it, and then it's ready to go to the next step. Power prompt number four, we're gonna take the outline that we just created and actually transform it into a more described version of a content. Power prompt number four, rich content writing. So if you modified your content and saved it in a document, then you can feed it back to ChatGPT so it knows what outline is. But if you are just relying on the outline that is already made by ChatGPT, then you can just adjust those brackets again and we are ready to create some content. I've filled out the prompt, copy back to ChatGPT. And like this, we just created a full draft for a blog post. And even though we used the tone and style that we defined before. The best quality you get out of this, if you take this copy, add it to the document and go and adjust it to exactly, to be as personal as you want it to be, then you already have an interesting blog post that you can post on your channels. You might also be in situations sometimes that you are getting a lot of emails. And here we can also have some help from ChatGPT that can help us to create answers to the emails. So this is power prompt number five, efficient email answering. Let's see how it works. So this power prompt is specifically designed to help to answer emails and it can do this with help of some existing knowledge. So maybe you already have some FAQ on your homepage or perhaps you have a lot of emails that you already answered to existing customers or clients or potential clients you can make an FAQ based on that and save it as PDF because then whenever you get requests for with this, the same questions, 
ChatGPT will be able to use that knowledge from FAQ and answer the emails in the same way. So fill out the bracketed information again, copy, insert, and also provided the FAQ like this. Now FAQ is uploaded and it will be able to answer the emails based on FAQ. All right, so now it has the FAQ, it has the prompt, and now it's asking, hey, where's the first email that I can answer for you? We can give it a copy, the email that we got, insert it here, and, and here we go. It's starting to work on the email outline, the draft of the email that we can share with the customer. We can even adjust it as the tone as we found previously and give it that as well to answer in the tone and style that we prefer for this email as well. So one of the new things with ChatGPT 4.0 is that it's really good to analyzing the data. It can work with data much better than previous models. So let's play with this and see the next power prompt. So power prompt number six is ultimate receipt analyzing. ChatGPT 4.0 so good at looking through even images and I'll show you what it can do. So I have three receipts that are actually just taking as a picture, as an images. We can give it to ChatGPT. We can take our ultimate receipt analyzing prompt. What it instructed to do is to read through receipts and attached files and create a pie chart showing percentages spent for each receipt and calculate the total spend across all receipts. So it will extract the data, calculate the total, create a pie chart and display the extracted totals. Let's see how well it performs. And can you even imagine what's possible? Because this is just one scenario. You can also connect now to with ChatGPT to Google Drive or to Microsoft OneDrive. And this data can be even easier accessible through the cloud. And just like this, we got analyzed the data, total of receipts, it calculated the sum of it, $849, and we have a pie chart that is showing graphical representation of the receipts. So this is just an example of the receipts, but it can be used in a broadly, whether you're doing finances or calculating something, you can actually so easily now feed the files to ChatGPT. So this kind of work is very tedious and can be very time consuming if you want to organize or visualize the data from some files. And now with ChatGPT, for, oh, we can actually do it very easy and we can even work further with the material like this and ask it to represent it in a different way. Almost only the imagination that sets the limits. And this prompt number seven is about ultimate master creator of the prompts. So it can actually create the prompts for your liking. So you can create custom prompts that are suitable for you, for your workflows. And this prompt can help you to do this. Unlimited master prompt creator. Take a role of a master prompt creator with expertise in prompt formula creation for ChatGPT. Your goal is to help me to craft the best possible prompt for my needs. The prompt will be used by you, ChatGPT. Follow these steps. So basically directed to make some several iterations until the prompt is fine-tuned. Based on the input, generate three sections, revised prompt. So we're working on a prompt. It will give you suggestions for the prompt formula improvement as well, and question for optimization. All right, so you give it a prompt and what it will ask you, great, let's start crafting the perfect prompt for your needs. So we can ask it, for instance, let's create a prompt formula for a LinkedIn post writer. And then you're just following along the instructions. Excellent choice. Let's dive into creating of a prompt formula for a LinkedIn post writer. To get started, could you provide more details for LinkedIn posts you want to create and then gives you some questions that you can answer and it will help to craft you this particular prompt formula. So like this, you can create prompts for your liking on whatever topic that is suitable for you. All power prompts that I shared with you here, they are accessible in the description below. So jump in and adjust them to the way you find it suitable for you and I wish it is useful. Like and subscribe if you like this content. I will definitely Make sure to make more of that. If you are curious how you can take these prompts and actually transform them into custom GPTs that can also be easily available for automating some of the workflows that you are working on, then click in the link 
here and you can see the full video of how to create custom GPTs to automate some of the business workflows. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.